Ryan Sands is quite simply a trailblazer, somebody who has pushed his body to the very limit in ultramarathons, and more impressively, he mostly wins them. He became the first person to win all four of the desert marathons, that includes the extremes of both the Sahara and the Antarctic. He's since become the first to win an ultra trail run on all seven continents, and he only found out that he possessed such running talent by accident. In my last year at university, I had a bunch of mates going up to run the Nyasna Marathon, which is a, a big marathon up country, but it's also the same time as the, the Oyster Festival, which is a big party. I always used to go up and have a big party up there, so I decided to be part of the group and run the marathon and actually discovered I really enjoyed running. The sport is not without its obvious dangers, negotiating extreme terrain for an exhausting 250 kilometres while carrying all of the required equipment. His first ultramarathon, the Gobi Desert, could also have been his last. I probably didn't concentrate enough on eating and, and drinking and actually cooling myself down and I got to about 50 kilometres and I was completely out of it. Uh, my vision was all blurry, um, just dry mouth, feeling nauseous, just not knowing if I was going to be able to run another 10 metres or not. And um, yeah, luckily I, I got through that, but you do go through some pretty um, extreme situations in running. Well, Ryan's achievements are legendary, but recently his fortunes have suffered a dip after picking up injuries that have forced him to drop out of races. But he feels those experiences have made him more focused for the future. The past few months, um, I twisted my ankle and did ligaments. I had to pull out of a, a big race, Western States, and then um, reshifted my focus to, to run the Leadville 100 mile again. I actually had to, to pull out with uh, back issues. Um, I think it just makes you more hungry and, and more determined to get back there. And I think it also makes me appreciate the, the success I've, I've achieved e even more. Trail running is a growing sport that is starting to attract major sponsors. Sands admits he's been lucky in his career, but he's now looking to give back to those less fortunate through his charity, Wandering Fever. In Africa and all around the world, I think there are a lot of people that just um, we don't have the, the financial resources to be able to, to go out and achieve their, their dreams. Uh, so for me, the, the Wandering Fever Fund is about enabling people to enable other people to, to achieve their, their dreams and, and goals. As for his own personal goals, Sands aims to break the record for the 230 kilometre Drakensberg Traverse. It's another lofty goal and it would appear Sands has not yet reached his own peak just yet. Dan Williams, CCTV, Cape Town.